Hey everybody, I want to tell you about a change in the worship schedule for this fall. For the last 18 months, our congregation has been worshiping all together here in the Ward Church Sanctuary at 9.30 and 11 o'clock a.m., two identical services. But starting this fall, September 12, there will be a shift in time 30 minutes earlier. Services will be 9 and 10.30 a.m., not 9.30 and 11, 9 and 10.30 a.m. The second shift, more significant, is that the first service will be traditional in music and style, and the second service will be contemporary in music and style. Why the change? Uh, most of you watching this video, not all of you, but most of you will remember that pre-pandemic, Ward Church had five Sunday morning worship services in three time slots, 8, 9.30, and 11. 8, 9.30, and 11. Some of the services were traditional, some were contemporary, some were simultaneous, meaning they happened at the same time in different rooms. So we've always been a church that's had lots of different options for lots of different people. We are a very diverse congregation. However, we have determined that the complex pre-pandemic schedule uh, is no longer sustainable and no longer necessary with where we're at today. And so we're streamlining in many ways. One traditional service at 9 a.m., one contemporary service at 10.30 a.m. Knox Hall is now available for children and teens and other programs. And we're putting a lot more energy these days into the online experience and want to put even more energy into making the in-person experience fantastic. Now, this is going to involve a shift for a lot of us. Those of you that have enjoyed worshiping at 8 o'clock in the morning, you early risers, this is going to feel a little late. A lot of us are going to have to shift a little earlier, but this is worth it, friends. Uh, we have received your feedback, which has been tremendous. A lot of you have said you've missed the sound of the pipe organ, and friends, the pipe organ will pipe again. And with the health concerns diminishing as part of this pandemic, the choir very shortly will be able to reassemble and practice, and the choir will sing again. And some of you have said you've missed some of the edge that you felt in Knox Hall, and the edge will edge again. Now, I also know, friends, that because of your volunteer commitments, or because of your uh, group that you're involved in, or because of family obligation, not all of you will be able to attend the service of your first choice. You might find yourself this fall sitting in a service that you think of as your second preference. But may I remind you that a lot of the service will be identical in both services. We will hear exactly the same sermon. We will celebrate the same God moments. We will share the same sacrament. We will say the same prayers. Uh, yes, one service will lean traditional and one will lean contemporary, but both services will sing songs old and new, though the instrumentation may vary. I think a lot of you will find yourself equally well served in either service. Now, for those of you that have strong preferences or strong tradition, you want to make the shifts required to make sure that you are in the service that best helps you connect with God. The service that best helps you open up your spirit to the spirit of the living God. The service that best helps you ascribe to God all the glory and honor that he is due. Again, a lot of you, either service will work, and some of you want to make those shifts uh, to make sure you're in the service that helps you be the best worshiper you can be. So thanks for your commitment to your church. Thanks for your prayers. Uh, thanks for desiring to worship God in better ways. We think the schedule matches best with where our congregation is right now. And I can't wait to see what God does in us and through us this next year.